the next video. Here we are, back at spawn, burning this thing. Let's see what it does. Whoa! Some forces have strengthened the Etsis Blast. Alright, is it plus one? It is plus one now. Let's go! If only I could use them without getting hit! <laughs> yeah! Do you have that way? Because I got it. What, the ability to upgrade them? Yeah. I mean, I haven't even tried yet. I saw the option of burn, but I didn't really look into it. You can also burn a human effigy. I don't know what that does. I assume it's the same as using it, but maybe it's better. Does it, like, last longer? Also, what rings do you have? Uh, so I have that Chloron theme that you were talking about. I have a red... Oh, I have the stone ring. I have a ring of blades, which apparently increases physical attack. And then I have a red tier stone ring equipped, but I'm probably going to swap that out. It just increases my attack with my HP so Oh, so you don't have the old sun ring? This thing's pretty cool. No idea where I got it. But this thing's pretty kick-ass. Like, so basically, if I'm getting, like, juggled by an enemy, it will just explode onto the enemy. Kind of. Like, it's kind of like what Quaylog was doing to you. But, like, not nearly as cool. Shame it's not as cool. I mean, we can't have our cake and eat it, too, I guess what the Dark Souls devs thought. They thought we'd get diabetes. So they decided, dude, they were like, Dark Souls 1 was so good, but they like how hard it is. Let's make it harder. But like, not as difficulty, just like, hard to enjoy the game. Jesus Christ. Also, I don't know if I like the Rapostle animation. You just kind of start punching the guy, then pull your sword out of nowhere. It's like, kind of goofy. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that when I did it. You just start like punching him, and then your sword comes out, like your spirit. It might be your left hand doing something. The fact that you don't have something to put there. Does weight not affect your Wait, not affect what? Your roll? Yeah. It does. It's at 75. I think. Does it not affect the light roll, though? That might not affect the it, it, oh. It's probably below, like, 30. That's a light roll. Oh! Alright, I guess I'm... I guess I'm taking this guy on. Alright. Pursuer number two! Let's get him! Yeah! Give these souls back. This dude comes out of the darkness. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take this fight super slow. How did I get hit there? I'm telling you, I think the life gems are just better than flask in general. They probably are. That sucks. Oh, 
Okay. <sighs> okay, I don't know what's wrong with this game. It's definitely not my my fault. But I keep pressing square. My dude just stands there. Does that happen to you? Like when you're using an item? Or trying to use an item? Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's like a little bit of an animation where you just stand still. You no, like I have to press it again. Like I, I think so. I've had that problem. I'm like walking, I dodge roll, and then I press square. Or maybe I was just walking backward, pressing square. Dude didn't do anything. So I had to like redo it. It cost me the fight. Because, you know, you have to wait for openings. Man, I hate this game so much. This one sucks. I'm a hater. Oh, wait, I'm I'm dead. Oh, oh, that's cool. I have to turn human again. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. Sorry, guys. I wanted to play the game. My fault. Apologies. I was literally using a life gem, and then for some reason it didn't use it, so then I pressed it again, and then he charged an attack. So I guess I should have waited. Whatever. But, you know, I timed it right the first time. They just decided it wasn't worth Oh, you're actually joking. Cool. I just wasted a human effigy. Ugh. I use it on the bonfire. Guess what it does? Blocks invaders. Oh, uh, that's it? Yeah. I've gotten invaded like twice now. Which is actually kind of blocked. Yeah, but like... That's cool. Like, I wasn't really trying to block invaders. I was trying to turn human. Man, dude, they can't stick with their humanity. Humanity was such a cool... Like, I feel like they did... They, they nailed it so well in the first game. I'm just surprised the second one's like this. Humanity didn't really do anything in the first game. Just boost your item discovery. No, I know. But that was such a good system. You think it's better that it cripples your life? That you slowly rot should... away and die? Probably not, but I feel like it should have a use of the only beat the mechanic. It did. Well, it, made dro it. it made dropping. Well, it made drops it way better. It made drops way better, and it, it also helped your stats. It made you stronger. So like, stats, yeah, it like did it like it made you less likely to take damage or it did a small amount of damage reduction and attack power increase. I don't know. I would say the great runes are probably just the things that probably should. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm talking about games that weren't made in 2020. Yeah. And the great runes are kind of lame. Let's be honest. Like, one of them was good, and I don't know. They decided to make that one PvP only. Like, it was just too hard to get. And then they made, like, yeah. the buying of it limited. Like, that's why humanity was so good. You would play through the game and be like, oh, I don't, I didn't even realize I had it. If they made the great runes like that, that'd be cool. Like, if they made them more, but great runes are actually, like, rings. Are they not? Oh, they kind of were. Because they took away, like, most of our ring slots and just gave us a great rune that plus five does. That's why I didn't even bother using a great rune for most of the game. Because when you die, it resets. That's why it sucked. It's the exact same problem I yeah, have right now. Made it where it wasn't a necessary mechanic, though, in this game. It kind of feels like it's necessary. So it's... Hey, tell that to Melania, dude. Because I had to farm extra levels. Okay, I dodged there. <laughs> oh. 
So I'm 90% sure if you die, this is this is a good feature. We're going to give this game praise. So the whole respawning and going and fight enemies, I've like tried to get back to the boss without taking any damage. Okay? And it's caused these two enemies just not to spawn. Because I keep going back and farming them. So now it's making the so walk back walk easier. Yes, but that also means I can't farm. Because I was actually farming life gems off them too. It was like two birds, one stone kind of deal. I don't know, if this is the post, like, quality of life improvement Dark Souls 2, I couldn't even tell you. I am never playing the non-DLC one. <laughs> Probably for the best that I don't even touch that thing. Almost took him second try though. Yeah, there's something up with my dodge roll, dude. I'm like in the process of dodge rolling and I still take damage. I don't I don't understand why. I think it's the adaptability thing. I'm pretty sure it affects your iframes. Yeah, but I'm still in the roll. I mean, like fat roll stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just don't have the full iframes because your adaptability is not high enough. What? Oh. Which Yeah, don't ask me why that. I feel like people wouldn't hate on this game if it wasn't for adaptability. Oh no, people would probably not. Alright. I'm killing this pursuer. I just gotta, you know, get there without using all my two flasks and my three life gems. Don't play this game, kids. Are they? Oh, okay, they're still here. Oh. Whoa! We get we get loot. Did we? What was it? Wasn't there. Okay, wait, hold up. Wasn't there. Yo, we got... We got some hands. Let's go. Hand armor. Woo. Turn up the wolf family. Alright, let's get this guy done. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. What are you doing? What? Since when do you pull out your sword against me? Okay, I've got him. Alright, we'll try the Pursuer. I pretty much went there no hit. This is going to be attempt number three. Let's get the souls. Get really close to him. Do our thing. Okay. So, what part of that dodge should I not do? Yeah, I'm still getting hit in my iframes. Or through my iframes. Oh, I died. God. I dodged too early there. That was actually my fault, not the game. Oh. He has a grat. Cursed! 
cursed. He has a grab attack. I do think I remember dying to that. Oh. Am I cursed? Or is cursed do something nice. different in this game? Dude, I only have I one human effigy damage. left. I guess I have to wait. Is that what I have to do? I only have one left. I guess. I mean, you can try taking him without the wealth. No, that's what I mean. Like, just wait to use it till it's like too far gone. I have like 4,000 souls in this boss arena. Like, if I have to homeward bone out, I will. So is there more after the scorpion girl, or was it like a dead end? Okay, read run it. Attempt four. Okay, cool. Off to a great start. Off to a better start. Okay, well, I'm dead. Ah. Uh -huh. Use a heal, and the dude just kind of charges at you. But he doesn't, like... Doesn't he just go forever with that? So you just have to, like, not heal when he does that? Uh, the charge? Sort of. Yeah. How many attempts did it take you? Like, three? It was, like, three, yeah. Should have had him two attempts ago. Well, maybe one I should have had this guy, but I walked in on... Zero flask and half health. You almost took him first try? I got him down to like 40. What was his name? If I would have even had like one or two Uh, I don't know. Okay, bro. <sighs> I mean, I just know I can't take the boss. Well, I'm at half health, but I've already used the flash to get here. So I have to just sadly walk back. I have to do a walk of shame. I guess what I could do is I guess I could spend these on her life gems, I guess. Yeah, well, 
I have four. I don't know if increasing your, like, vigor is, like, super mandatory because your health cripples or not because your health cripples. Like, should you just get yeah. used to being on low health or no? I can't tell. His name was Dragon Rider. Wait, so. did he get a trophy? No. No trophy. You didn't beat him or you did? Nice. I need to add a single death to him. That's his play. Give me like 20 cases. Bonfire ahead and then one. Nice. Bonfire. And one. There's a single lever here. Too afraid to press it because I don't know if it's the lever with the guy. I don't see a cage though. I'm just gonna use this life gem. But before I do, I'm gonna use my last human Jeffigy. We're finishing them here and now. Alright. Let's do it. So I'll wait for the life gym to restore my health. Go in. That's cool. If that wasn't a good time to heal, when was? Because that's insane. He had just finished an attack animation. I go for the heal, and he's still able to get an attack off before I'm done. Invincibility. He does it say it on the list? Do they? What's? I don't see it. What's? This is a stat that's supposed to be somewhere else. Your weight. Uh, my best guess. Um, Another stone person. Why is there so many stone people? Why is it always stone? Yeah, DS1 levels of iframe is 24 adaptability. <sighs> so that's why your dodge rules just seem so. Because there's actually half. So it's like I'm used to a play style that just doesn't exist right now. What's yours at? 20. I have it at 20. So that would make sense why you... I don't know, he's doing an attack and I'm dodging like on time, but if my if my dodge is even a second off, he'll attack me like as I'm rolling and he'll just throw me. And then it takes me like 10 seconds to get up, dude. It's actually the worst. I don't know, this guy's worse than an Elden Ring when you just when your guy decides not to get up. Mm. 
Yeah. As we try this boss again. Yeah, life gems are just better in boss fights than us this last. Okay, bro. I have 7,000 runes in this boss fight. I, I feel like I should just go there. I feel like I should just go there and Homeward Bone out and level up. Uh, maybe adaptability. Yeah, this is disgusting. You know what? You know what? No. Well, yes and no. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to get my soul back. I'm going to Homeward Bone out. I'm going to use every single soul I have and put them all into adaptability. That's just what I'm doing. And then if I first try them, I'm going to make a hate post. On, I'm going to make a Twitter account and post a hate post for... Do you know how much the uh, human effigies are that that old woman is selling? They're like five grand. Are they now? They're like three or something. Maybe they're 1,200. They're just too much. They're too much. I thought they were like three grand. Because I was like, oh, maybe I'll buy some. And I looked at it and I was like, ah. All right, just got a homeward bone out. He's still emoting. Yep, I got out. I had 8,000 souls on me, dude. What? Ew. Let me see actually how much they are since I'm right here. 1,500. I mean, is that not insane? I mean, yeah, it's not 5,000, but 1,500 is kind of a lot. It's like, I don't know how much a level is for you, but that's about a level for me. Yeah, that's about a level for me. All right, so we just pump this all in adaptability, get it up to 15. Cool. 
Isn't that what you started at? <laughs> I started at 12. Oh, okay. I started at like 5, which is just... Ah, uh, man. I was looking at strength and dex. I, could, I didn't know what adaptability was. Like, I forgot that I needed to not only look out for it, but I did also didn't know what the stat was. Like, in terms of uh, acronyms. So... Explorer class I had 12, we started with like 6 strength and 6 decks. It was kind of rough. But when I started, oh, yeah, I, I pumped a bunch of stats for that. I looked at that and I was like, oh, hell no. And then I also saw that fit and I was like, bro, nah. I started laughing. Now who's laughing? Wait, so it's about the same. So. I mean, if anything, I would have, I should have just been putting those stats into adaptability, and I would have been fine. Same. Try it again. Dodge backwards. And I... Have you encountered a mechanic where if you try to 180, your character just stops in place? What? So, like, if you're locked on an enemy and then you try to run behind you, like, start a full sprint, your character will just slowly turn around and it'll take a while to start running. Oh, they countered that mechanic? Yeah, have you encountered? Because this cost me like, oh, in encountered. No, no, I hadn't. That's terrible. No, but that fight did feel a lot better. Just leveling it up four times felt so much better. I almost had him, and then I ran out of gems. Well, I started burning gems because I looked at my health, thought it was lower because the gems slowly restore it, and then I would use a gem, but then my health was kind of high. Oh my god, I've done this walk back so many times, all the enemies are almost gone. <sighs> One thing I don't like, and you can tell me if I'm, like, misremembering this, but, like, it wasn't like that in Elden Ring when you, like, went to hit an enemy, that they were immediately able to hit you again if you staggered them. Like, the second I run out of stamina, that they'll just start hitting me. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, what happened to you staring at the floor because I hit you upside the head? Uh, I don't know if I can do this fight without, um... <laughs> oh, I completely said I was gonna... Yeah, with light, light gems. I completely said I was gonna burn a whole bunch of, uh... Things. What was I going to say? I was going to use a whole bunch of souls to level my adaptability. I didn't do that. 
So let me go do that. I would have probably won then. I'm rushing it. Just make sure not to use the soul of the giant. I'm assuming. If not, on that second playthrough, I'm using all of them to level up adaptability. <laughs> yep, Soul of the Giant. You're getting you're getting uh, adaptability. <laughs> like he's gone. I have 35 bands. What can I get adaptability to? 25. Oh, that brings me all the way to 40. Was that too much? No, I meant like ten le like nine levels purely on adaptability. Like maybe I should level up my endurance and health first. I mean I would probably at least put some into it. But yeah, you don't need to be dumping. I would say max you should put it at right now is twenty. I don't think you need more than that. Adaptability? Yeah. I was gonna do like chill. yeah. I got endurance at 10 and health at 15. Yeah, that's fine. So how much do I need to level up now? 34 that or 3400. <sighs> really not that much though, you gotta get that relatively quick. I guess. I mean I need slightly more than you and I'm still getting like three or four levels each time to go back. That is cool. I think L3 is better than X. I don't know about yeah. better, but it's nice. Oh, what blessing did you get? Oh, uh, what did I start? I think it was the life ring. That's what I chose. Oh, people were making fun of that. Why? Because apparently it's trash compared to... Uh, I think it was Spectral Spice. Or maybe... It was Petrified Something. Oh, the thing that cures the bone people. No. I didn't know how much no. Oh, something. No, else. petrified stone or something. Yeah, petrified something. Apparently, because I was looking it up, because every time I play this game, you know, there's some nonsense like that. So I looked it up, and apparently, yeah, that's the, that's the go-to, because there's someone you can give it to to get really good weapons. 
And I was like, bet. And then I just haven't found that somebody. Okay, dude. So literally, I've died so many times to this boss that there's no enemies on the wall pack. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. I feel like that's almost insulting. Oh, dude, I use items so much quicker now. What? Oh, are you talking about, like, the flask? I was talking about the gem, dude. It almost was like I didn't even press the button. You said what? The gems are super fast. I didn't even notice. Like, wasn't using I was using them because I had them, but I had to use them uh, in between flask or whatever. Because I ran out of flask and I was like, well, I have these. Did I just stamina break him? Oh, I did. Well, I didn't get the repose off, but I did kill him. Sewer down. Look at the stats. Look at the stats. Level 43. Let's go. Oh, rings of blades. Let's go. Cool. Cool. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. I can walk past him. Okay, so I guess you're not that high a level then. What's up with all these guys trying to take yeah, the tree like down? But then, have you seen that you, like, look at the tree and it says, alas, nothing happens? Yeah. What I is that? Understand. That's got to be something later, right? Like, we do we burn the tree again? Oh, no, there's another bird thing. Examine. Whoa. Did you look at that? Yeah. yeah. I, just, I just got birded. Whoa. Literally gets brutal. I think this game would have been way harder to play if you if I didn't use those souls to level up adaptability. It's important. The adapt statue. It's always annoying when a game forces you down on this. Is there somebody in this annoying. chest? Oh no. Human effigy. Let's go. Dull ember. I just did. So then this is probably the next path then, huh? Or were the enemies too strong for you in this area? That area was fine. The boss is kind of rough, though, just heads up. Did you beat it? I did, yes. There's uh, two ways to enter the boss chamber, I think. It might just be one. But it's a 3v1. Oh, okay. oh, I know who you're talking about. It's the Sentinels. Uh, um, hmm. So now do I level up? Oh, wait, I, I can't level up more than once because I need to buy that ring. So what, what ring did I just get? Uh, I guess I could level up. 
I'll put a stat into strength. All right, let's go by the thing. Also, hey, did you try fighting those bugs in the swan? Did you ever kill one of them? I killed one of them and they gave me like yeah, five souls. I ended up killing all three because I was like, why are they so hard to kill? I didn't get anything off of it. I was kind of disappointed. So, okay. I'll be around. All right. God, you can't run through places at all, bro. All the enemies lock on for so far in this game and I don't know why. Yeah, it's kind of weak. Yeah, especially if you went to a new area, they would just kind of back away. Alright, so now I can venture down here. God. Man, that still almost kills me. Well, I'm supposed to go that way. Okay. Uh, this was a way, I don't think. Oh, I'm a fool. I got got. <sighs> there was like a small, tiny, thin platform, and I was like, "Man, I can step on that." The answer was no. The answer was no. <laughs> Did that happen to you or just me? Oh, yeah. Where am I supposed to go? Why is this guy laughing at me? <laughs> Bro, what? Bad laughing at you. Yeah, there was like this guy. I think he's insane. Uh, <laughs> that's not what I. Th oh no, they're they're in this game too. No, no. I found them, wigs. Rats. What did you just find? Oh. I think I found a few rats. Have I? Either way, they're here. They're ready. And they're here to stay. Whoa, whoa! No way a rat killed me. God, I only had, I didn't want to use a gem, dude. <sighs> this game sucks so much. This game is so stupid, dude. Rats, rats, we are rats. They just gave me more than one Estus flask or two. I feel like I could maybe make it five feet. It's rough. 
How do you, I don't even know how you have four. How many do you have when you fought that one guy? How many? I think I have. Oh, it's no, I, I, no, that's my fault. I didn't sleep at the bonfire to get my tooth back. That's not percent my fault. I have no idea what I just did. Hey, how many of those Pharaoh lock stones do you have? Because there's like 10 of them here. I have quite a bit. I've been just picking them up. Right. There's a ton here, dude. I'm talking like... I've seen five or six on the ground. And I don't know what they do. Like two places to use them. Yeah, well that... This Grave of the Saints place has eight. Am I in a boss fight? Or is this just... No way I'm in a boss fight. I can't leave? Why are there so many rats? Oh, uh, dude, I think the I think this is infinitely spawning rats. I don't know. Maybe I'm capping, but I'll take the souls. Oh, no. Royal Rat Vanguard. Are there more rats? Why is there a boss bar now? Oh, yeah, all these rats count as bosses? Okay. Oh, I died. The rats killed me. This, yeah, this boss fight is just infinitely spawning rats. This is terrible. <laughs> I know. It's right next to a bonfire, though. Oh my gosh. I gotta put Royal Rat Vanguard on the trophy list. Dude, what's crazy is you'll kill a few of them. And it won't spawn the health bar until, like, you kill it X amount.
Dude, this lock all mechanic sucks when there's this many enemies. Okay, bro. I died again. This is uh pretty intense. I don't know how to damage this boss. This time they're not. It's not a uh, damaging them. There's a gimmick to this boss fight. And I don't know what it is. I'll give him one more try. And that's it. Okay, bro. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that sucks. Okay, you can't even, like, one-hand your weapon in here. Okay, this is so dumb. Okay, yep, whatever. I'm trying to, like, lock onto the enemy right in front of me, but it keeps locking onto a rat, like, across the room. Also, there's, like, wooden statues everywhere. That, like, completely block your swing. Well, yeah, then there's also 30 rats. That do a good amount of damage. Yeah, and I died. Okay, the Royal Rat Vanguard has gotten me. That's, uh... Good stuff. Tough indeed. Okay, we're gonna hollow bone out. Hop in, hop out. That's 100% a boss fight, but uh, just infinite rats. It's pretty weak. If you need somewhere to go, I think at your front level you should be good. When you're in the starting area, you know that staircase that goes down? That place? Yeah. Screw that yeah, place. I've been kind of like doing decently well there. I feel like since you're somewhat near level now, you should be good. Nah, screw that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the other two places first. That place seems too intense for me. That's definitely like the final area. Mm, let's see. I got one level. I'm gonna put it on. Uh, I guess I'll put it on. I actually don't know. I'll just put it on. Dex. Why not? Nah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna do strength of twenty. All day. And I guess we'll travel to where I'm not traveling to that area. Um, I guess I'll go here. All right, cool. What are these enemies? This dude is huge. Jumping off required. Yeah, I'm good. Try back and then try rear. Oh, like they want me to fight this guy? Yeah, I'm good. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.